Black Keys, White Keys, Alicia Keys, all associated with the piano, the greatest musicians in the world, Beethoven, Mozart, Chopin, the pussy, all have one thing in common. That's right, their hair. Alright, I mean their ability to play the piano brilliantly. But oh how did the piano set foot on earth? Let me take you back to the 15th century. Okay, here we are. Medieval era, Germany. Music started getting good. Right after evolving from... Musicians play mostly for royals or churches. One famous instrument used that came from before the piano was the clavichord. Featured a mechanism where small brass blades called tangents struck the strings directly when keys were pressed. Sounds a lot like a banjo. During the Renaissance period, the clavichord started to gain popularity. Its expressive qualities made it suitable for performing intricate music of the time. But it had its cons. The clavichord just wasn't loud enough, so someone's gotta come up with something better. Which, ah, the harpsichord. Louder, better tone, just overall better. But there were still cons with the harpsichord though. Its dynamic control, meaning no matter how soft or hard you press on its keys, its volume remained constant, destroying your ears. But both the clavichord and the harpsichord ended up coexisting though, where the clavichord was used for more intimate setting and the harpsichord was used for more larger venues. Now, let's head to year 1700 in Italy. Italian musical instrument maker named Bortolo Mio Cristofori invented something revolutionary, combining the best qualities of the harpsichord and the clavichord. While addressing the limitations, he invented the piano. You could now control its volume depending on how hard you strike the keys. In other words, you can now play with feel. Christopher's invention was initially called the Gravi Samboli Col Piano e Forte. But come on, it's long. So people over time just called it the piano. Very quickly, the piano gained its popularity. So by the classical and the romantic periods, composers such as Beethoven, Mozart, Chopin, and Dabuzi embraced the piano for its expressive capabilities, composing some of the most iconic pieces of music ever written. And it is all thanks to the humble beginnings of Christopher's workshop in Florence. And Christopher, of course. Made it to the end? Wow, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and watch the next one maybe. See ya!